Hey guys, before we start the video, make sure you follow me over on Twitch, where I've been building all of my games live and playing viewer created games. I'm going to be handling this video a little differently than my other Game Builder Garage videos, as this is a logic based escape room. I'm going to explain each puzzle as I go through the game. If you want to avoid any spoilers for the game itself, please play it first before watching the video. With that being said, Let's hop into gameplay. So when you spawn in, you immediately see the controls, you look around the room, and there's nothing for you to really do. It's kind of a tutorial in itself, or a, a puzzle in the tutorial itself. You have to do everything in order to progress. And if you guys want to take any time to pause the video and try to guess on the puzzle itself before you move along, go ahead. I'm going to explain it now. Um, so we have an orange wall, a green wall, a yellow, blue, and red object. So I thought, you know, let's have a little bit of like a color based puzzle. So we have red on the far left. We have yellow that'll go into the middle. And I made things that are easier to move um, further away and things that are harder to move close up as kind of a convenience thing. And we have blue all the way down the right. Because red and yellow make orange, yellow and blue make green, bam. We walk in this room, we immediately see a six digit combination lock. We see this little black box we can stand on, 143 pops up as you explore the room some more find out that there's some more black boxes you can hop up if you change the camera you can see that it also goes over this way now um, through testing on twitch 397 through other streamers this is the hardest puzzle in the entire escape room people don't seem to understand um, what to do here necessarily and I'm going to explain it as I'm punching the numbers in. Two, five, five. So we have one, four, three, two, five, five, and three, nine, seven. If you guys want to take a second to try to figure it out, go ahead and pause the video. But I'm going to explain it now. The way that I envisioned this puzzle in my mind as I was making it is more of steps and less of whole numbers. So step one, four, three. Step two, Five, five, step three, nine, seven. And if you guys are interested in this combination lock, I have a tutorial up on my channel already. I will link it at the end of the video. So four, three, five, five, nine, seven. We get to move on. Walk in this room over here. There's some more buttons, there's some more black platforms, more buttons on top of the black platforms. And when you hit it, you get a little ding, and the clock starts ticking down. It's a timer-based puzzle. People seem to think you have to do this one in an order, but you really don't. It's just, you're just timed. So what I like to compare this room to is Lieutenant Surge's gym in Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, except that the correct answer doesn't change. You punch the chest, it's going to give you a wrong answer until you finally get the correct two, which you have to hit back to back. So if I hit this one in the middle, it doesn't work. But if I hit these two back to back, we move forward. Now in this room, green floor equals correct, blue floor equals restart. So you just choose a path, you walk down it, and you get to see where to go so left I did center left left boom easy enough puzzle find and pop all five balloons people seem to also have a little bit of trouble with this one so our first balloon is right here but I'm actually gonna save this one for last this is probably the hardest balloon to get right here as I get it first try I have trouble on it sometimes everyone seems to have trouble with that one Second balloon is inside of our non-solid text box. Third balloon is inside of this. 
And a lot of people also struggle finding this balloon. So the teleporter is actually around here. No one turns around and checks back here. Boom. Four balloons. And then we run back, we pop the fifth balloon. I left that one kind of in the open just to show what people are going to be looking for, even though most of the balloons you don't see as you pop them. So you pop this fifth one, boom. Uh, that's a little bit of a texture bug right here. It, I guess it decided this one's going to overlay because this is a full block right here. Anyway, you win. You're so smart. Free play through the hoop. All right, that is the end of the escape room. It takes you back to here as you can get back to the balloon room through here pretty easily. And you can just walk around and explore the rest of the escape room. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for checking it out. Um, yeah, everyone enjoy the rest of your day.